friends, I'm Wiggity and welcome back to another Stardew Valley guide. Today we're talking all about dinosaur eggs. I'll be going over the few ways to find one and I'll also be going over all the things that you can do with them as well. Okay, so some items in Stardew Valley can be pretty hard to track down. If you're like me and like to have a completionist playthrough, then I'm sure you know how frustrating it can be to have just one thing missing from your museum and seemingly no way to find that. And for some people, that item was, for the longest time, the dinosaur egg. And sure, it tells you to donate your egg to Gunther, but there are a few items he wants that you really should hold on to first before you get another to donate, like the prismatic shard, which I made an entire video about, link up in the corner, and of course, the dinosaur egg. Let's first begin with its uses. First, the most obvious use is to donate it to Gunther in the museum, but I urge you to wait on that until after you get another one because of the second use. When you have an incubator after upgrading your coop too big, you can pop this egg right in there and a dinosaur will hatch after 12 days if there's room in the coop. That dino will then lay more eggs for you every seven days, giving you a rare animal and a good supply of eggs to use for other things on this list. Number three. Take that dinosaur egg and make yourself some dinosaur mayonnaise. You can sell this mayo for a good chunk of change. It's worth 800 gold at its base price, 960 gold with the rancher profession, or 1,120 gold with the artisan profession. And there are a couple other uses for the dinosaur mayo as well. It is an item that is an option for the missing bundle in the abandoned Joja Mart and it can also be used in the next method. Number four, tailoring. The dinosaur egg and the dinosaur mayo can both be turned into some great items to wear with the tailoring system. The egg is used to make the dinosaur hat and the mayo is used to make the dinosaur pants. With <laughs> a cute little tail too. I love this outfit. Number five, money. It's much better to turn these eggs into mayonnaise if you're wanting to make more money, but you can also sell each egg for a base of 350 gold, the price going up with the higher quality that you find. Surprisingly, the price of the dino eggs are not affected by the rancher profession, unlike regular eggs. And a bonus use for the egg is um, not really that useful, but you can absolutely place the dino egg on a table to decorate. Now let's go over all the ways that we can find an egg. The first way is really only if you have a dino egg already and put it into the incubator, which we went over earlier. Every seven days, your dinos will lay a brand new dinosaur egg. Number two, artifact spots. Artifact spots can have all sorts of things in them, though it's usually just a bunch of clay. Um, but if you keep your eyes peeled in the mountains and the quarry, there is a small chance that the next one you dig up could be the dinosaur egg. On my chickadee farm playthrough, I found one here in my first week of spring, which was pretty awesome. The chance is a 0.6%. Third, we have treasure chests. Well, the ones that you get from fishing anyways. Now, treasure chests while fishing can have some odd odds. What you find inside can be dependent on where you are, how far you cast, fishing level, and daily luck. For dinosaur eggs, it doesn't matter where you are at when you are fishing. Also, the cast distance doesn't matter either. You just need to be at level two or higher of fishing and have already found at least one artifact. After that, your chance is a 0.8%. Your chances actually are just a tiny bit higher, up to 0.9% if you have already found every single book in the library too. 
Number 4. The 1.4 update introduced us to a few more awesome monsters to take out, one of which is the Pepper Rex found in Skull Cavern. These baddies can pop up on any level and are the much larger member of the dinosaur's family. Taking one of these out gives you a 10% chance of finding a dinosaur egg, and your chances are even better if you equip a burglar ring. On to number 5, also included with the last update, prehistoric floors can show up randomly on any level in Skull Cavern. You'll often find tough enemies like pepper rexes, mutant flies, and iridium bats here, as well as things to forage such as fiddlehead ferns and of course dinosaur eggs. Number 6. The last legitimate way to find one is honestly a pretty random way to find a dinosaur egg. I've only had done this once. After the completion of the missing bundle or completing the Jojo Warehouse upgrade in the late game, the theater will be unlocked with a new crane game. There are a ton of fun and interesting things that you can win in this game, with some items even hidden behind the bushes. It is a lot easier to see if there's something behind this bush than the other ones in my opinion. One of those items is the dinosaur egg, though honestly the other methods on this list are a ton easier in my opinion. And number 7, with an exploit. Now there is a method that you can use to get pretty much any item in the game, but it's a bit cheaty so it's not usually something I do apart from this demonstration. If you are really desperate for a dinosaur egg, after you have a coop or barn you can head on over to Marnie's and buy yourself a new animal. In order to get the egg, all you have to do is name it this and an egg will magically appear in your inventory. The number of the item is the item number for the dinosaur egg, and as Marnie says the name of the animal after you find a new home for it, it makes that item appear. It is an exploit, but I figured I'd share it with you anyways, as it is one of the ways a lot of people have gotten their eggs. There used to be another exploit involving this wallpaper and putting it in the incubator in a coop, but that had been patched out in the 1.4 update, so it doesn't work anymore. So there you have it, the dinosaur egg. Pretty soon you'll have your very own Jurassic Valley with all those dinos and finally complete that museum. So friends, what did you name your first dino or what will you be naming it? My first one ever was named Littlefoot. I watched Land Before Time way too many times as a kid, although I probably should have named it more after Spike. Anyways, let me know down in the comments what your name's gonna be. Well friends, I hope this video has helped you out at all. If it did, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and share with a friend that might be struggling to find their dino egg. I'm Wickedy, thank you so much for hanging out in the valley with me, and I will see you next time.